what it do y'all it's your girl makeup and travel and for today's video i'm bringing you guys a video it's kind of a talking video just talking about some items that i would like to see from brands that i am currently not purchasing from um these some of these brands are brands that i choose to actively not purchase from some are just brands that nothing has come out that i'm interested in so yeah if you guys are interested in hearing about some of these brands then just keep watching what is going on with this eyelash um I have not recorded this video twice yes count it twice and both times I did not like how it came out or my memory card decided it was gonna pretend to be full halfway through the video so I'm not recording it again I did want to let you know quickly that this is um, a look that I created with this LA splash classic horror palette this is the third look I of course am doing not of course i am doing a three looks one palette with this palette just to see um i was really inspired to do it depending on how much feedback i get about it i might do a couple others because there are a couple other palettes that i'm inspired to do that with as well um so let's just actually get onto the video instead of the rambling intro mm -hmm. so first i wanted to talk about um jeffree star Now, Jeffree Star, I've talked about him on my channel. A lot of people have talked about them on their channel. I've even talked about him on my blog. Oh, Lord, that was a while ago. I have not posted in a while. I really should get on that. But when it comes to Jeffree Star, I hear so much about um, his formulas, how good his formulas are. And to me, he has not produced anything that makes me really want to give him that leap of faith that everything that I've heard about him is not true. You know what I mean? Like right now, I'm not saying that I'm hate, hate Jeffree Star. I'm not. But at the same time, I'm not loving him and I'm not really jumping to support him. If there's something that he releases and I'm really dying to get it, then we'll talk about it when we get there. But for me, specifically because you guys know I love eyeshadow, I love eyeshadow palettes. My big thing is that none of his eyeshadow palettes um, color schemes have ever been really groundbreaking, really interesting to me. I would love to see him have a palette that has yellows and pinks and purples. Those are three colors that I think would be unique to his collection, but also unique to the market. In my opinion, especially the first two eyeshadow palettes that he dropped, Androgyny and I don't know. I don't know what the other one is, but those two palettes, in my opinion, were just a bunch of hot, hosh posh colors put together, just showing how good his pigmentation was, showing how big his pants were, and that was it. In my opinion, he started to get more into a color scheme aspect when he did the blood sugar palette, but even to me, that one did not have enough blood, not enough blood, didn't have enough red, so it wasn't really attractive, interesting to me. So I would really love to see him bring out a color scheme a palette with the color scheme of yellow pink and um purple i think that would really entice me to actually give him the opportunity to show me how good his product is and to show me that he is not a bad person sorry if that light was blinding you i will attempt not to move too much so that i'm covering it up um next i wanted to talk about lime crime now when i'm recording this lime crime has actually already released the previews for their 10th anniversary palette that palette is gorgeous i will be purchasing it i that palette is gorgeous okay i will hope and pray that it comes to ulta because i'd prefer to purchase from ulta but if it doesn't I will attempt to purchase from lime crime but yeah i am extremely interested in that palette but still Prior to that, I think that Lime Crime was going away from what they, no, in spite of that palette, I still think Lime Crime is not doing what really got them on the map, which is to bring out palettes with color schemes that are groundbreaking. Um, their, let me get this right, their Venus One palette was like the precursor to the ABH Mono Renaissance. Their Venus Two palette was like the precursor to the subculture their venus 3 was heavily behind same with their venus xl i think lime crime 
the last two palettes that they released was really just going along with what it people are already interested in instead of actually making the groundbreaking steps to before a trend is even noticed so in my opinion i would really love to see malime crime drop a palette that has ooh, yellows and reds yeah with the majority of it being yellows i really would love i mean love to have a palette if you know of anyone that any brand that has released a palette literally just of yellows they're really starting to bring out a lot of blue palettes a lot of green palettes i would love to see lime crime bring out a palette with like a lot of yellows and some reds i think that would be a very interesting color scheme not very many other people will probably be interested in that but i think that would be gorgeous um another brand that i have not purchased from at all is jouet cosmetics now for a while i was actively not purchasing from jouet because they did that collab with jeffree star but now i'm just like whatever i'm not even about to hate them for that and now it's more of the fact that the stuff that they're coming out is not interesting the latest release that they dropped that eyeshadow palette was for spring and it had two colors that were somewhat interesting from my recollection there was like a pinky red and like a green yellow or something like that i think those two colors are very unique to the market let alone well not to the market those two colors are unique to Jouer but I would love to see a really interesting cohesive color scheme I feel like Jouer is one of those brands that like gives you a neutral palette with pops of color enough give it I'm let me calm down because I'm getting a little emotional for the brands that are known for being neutral and um really work friendly i'm not saying that they need to become the most colorful brands in the world like a juvia's place i'm saying that i think it would be nice for them to at least drop one colorful palette even kevin aquan attempted to in that electro pop palette it was a semi disaster but at least they tried you know what i mean so uh, uh. so in my opinion i would really love to see jouet push the mark on their their um on their eyeshadow colors palette their color schemes but in addition my other big problem with Jouer is their range I mean yes I think their foundation range is decent same with their concealer range that they just dropped but their blushes and their bronzers I couldn't even use that on my wind like the coldest winter days that I have like it doesn't matter I could not use those so I would really love to see them expand on that as well just so that I could really just try them because I hear a lot about their blush duos and their bronzer duos but I can't even try them so I would really love to see Jouer um, kind of expand on those two parts of their brand next what's another brand What's another brand? Kylie Cosmetics. No, let, let's start with KKW first. When it comes to KKW, I I honestly don't know how to feel about that brand. I did purchase a lipstick. I think it's okay. It's a lot sheerer on me. I think that a lip liner under really is beneficial. Um, and it didn't pop on my skin as, mu as much as it popped on Alicia, Alyssa Ashley skin so that was a little disappointing but the formula is decent I have no problems with the formula my problem with KKW is kind of the similar situation when it comes to Jouer KKW is very neutral and to the point that almost all of her eyeshadow palettes literally look the same it's literally the slightest of undertones that changes what her eyeshadow palettes are in my opinion that's that's like taking advantage of your name taking advantage of the fact that you know people will buy your palettes at least give people something to look forward to something that's interesting and for me i would love for her to do an actual purple palette her most recent release was a cherry blossom palette the one in between She's done three eyeshadow palettes. She's done a more mauve-ish undertoned one, the one with 
Mario and then the now cherry one and my I think the cherry one might be the mauve one I don't know she's done three palettes long story short I would love to see her do an actual purple mauve palette in my opinion that palette is not mauve it's like a it's like a neutral with a, a splash of mauve not even a not even a pop a splash of mauve so for me i would really love to see kkw just step out of her bounds just a little bit i hear so many good things about her eyeshadow formula i would love to try it but i'm not going to try it for this basic palette like that's just not me so yeah that's what i would like to see from kkw i'm, I'm talking for 10 minutes okay when it comes to kylie's brand i first of all would like her to slow down in my opinion she is definitely surpassing ColourPop when it comes to the amount of releases it's just becoming excessive and it can't be the manufacturer because kkw is not releasing as much she's releasing once a season kylie is releasing collabs seasonal holiday everything i just would love to see kylie calm it down don't get me wrong I do like her, the bullet lipsticks for her Halloween collection, and I probably will get them. I need to figure out if that's released yet, but I'm not rushing to get that. I'll get it on a sale, but I would love to get those lipsticks. But, and even for, for Kylie, my problem is different. My problem isn't originality because I think a lot of her palettes are actually somewhat original. Not all of them, a lot of them. Um, and even later l lately she's not been doing a neutral with a pop she's actually been doing like beautiful color schemes that blue honey one i love that one that was like the one palette i was ready i was so ready to buy that so ready and then i realized like this palette costs 42 dollars for nine shadows like there comes an extent that you're taking advantage of your customer and in my opinion Kylie has become that person. Those brushes, like if you can give us concealers that are $18, lipsticks that are $18, why are you giving us eyeshadow palettes that are $45 to $50? Like no. So for me I would really like to see Kylie, I know she's not going to do it because it doesn't make sense to do it but I would love to see her drop her prices on her eyeshadow palettes. Then you would get more people who are able to purchase you and maybe even just willing to purchase you and try your palettes i cannot and will not purchase a kylie palette for 42 dollars. i can't maybe during the holidays if there's a sale i'll get a couple things that i've been liking from her collection but i just i i can't i can't um I think that's it guys I don't I can't think of any other brand off the top of my head of course as soon as I leave this camera I'll think of like 10 different brands and I'll be like Rawr. why didn't I talk about them but you know if you guys like this type of style of video of course I'll do another one I'm fair game for talking videos I apparently don't mind talking in front of the camera or even at all anymore I talk I talk a lot lately mm -hmm. Ooh, mm, mm. okay I talk a lot lately but anyways um, I think it's time for me to get off and let you guys keep it pushing um, as always y'all it has been real please feel free to comment down below anything that you have to suggest let me know if there are any brands that you are currently not supporting and you would love to see them drop something in particular I would love to hear it maybe there are brands that I don't know about I would love as you guys know to test out a new brand so definitely let me know down below um, and that's it it has been real y'all peace